Christian groups emerged in Nairobi on Tuesday, one on the on the one hand, a group that wanted the protests brought to an end and President William Ruto given a chance to work, and on the other hand, those against President Ruto's administration. And as Sheila Chelangat reports, the protests in the CBD on Tuesday were less chaotic compared to those witnessed in the past few weeks. Take a look. Another Tuesday, and just like it was during the past four Tuesdays, the city once again came to a standstill. Most businesses shut and anti-riot police patrolling every corner of the city under the sun. <laughs> However, what was different was this group of pro-government protesters who riding atop motorbikes stormed the CBD, carrying placards. Their message was clear. It's time for the protest to end and let the president work. In their hundreds, they rode around the CBD as city dwellers stood aside watching the events unfold. However, this group was not so lucky as there were allegations that some members were involved in theft, inciting the wrath of the traders and city residents against them, burning this motorcycle. <laughs> Nairobi Police Commander Adamson Bungay also arrived in the CBD area with a promise that goons will not be allowed to disrupt the activities of Kenyans. He was, however, forced to leave as the chants of the protesters became wilder. <laughs> Protests in Nairobi CBD were largely peaceful from 12 p.m. onwards. Cases of tear gas and running battles were barely witnessed around the city centre, unlike the past four Tuesdays of protests. Sheila Chelangat for TV 47.